as we know, storms sometimes can do more than just physical damage. That's right. We're seeing that with Tropical Storm Debbie, and we saw that with the storm over the weekend. Yesterday, we told you about the damage left behind when a storm hit the area around the Franklin Southampton County Fair. The event was, of course, canceled for the week, and as Kiana Patterson shows us, the damage goes further than just mangled buildings. Today is the day that the Frank Southampton County Fair would be setting up with rides and livestock. But on Sunday, a thunderstorm ripped through the fairgrounds. You can see now the concession stand is in shambles. The fair is now canceled. Instead of kicking off the Franklin Southampton County Fair tomorrow, organizers are now preparing to clean up storm damage. Look at that sink. That's a sink from one. That's from one of the walls. This is the first time I've looked at this angle. Longtime board member Leanne Williams says the four day fair is something everyone in this community looks forward to. I've been involved with this for 40 years and that's one of our first buildings. We had a tiny little stage here when we started and we had those concession stands. But on Sunday, an intense thunderstorm with straight line winds of up to 90 miles per hour swept through the area. The door blew off and really rolled it up like a piece of Reynolds wrap. It was how intense. The storm wind snapped trees and threw the concession stand in the air. So it was very terrifying to be on the fairgrounds, but we are very blessed that, that it could have been so much worse if it had been fair time. Neil Clark was inside of the horticulture building when he heard the rain. Looking at, at your at your radar uh, coming in, it, it somewhat looked like a thunderstorm that we've had. Clark says he pulled up the wavy weather radar to see what was going on. The rain started and then it, of course it, it, it got harder. The winds went from winds that you, you expect to, to extreme. Volunteers that work all year long must now rebuild the buildings that are used weekly for events. Every night we sit around, cry a little bit and then say how are we going to make it better. While youth and civic groups are working to find another way to raise money. Good Lord saved us. We're all okay. And we're not going to have a fair this year, but next year we'll be back big and strong. Now all hope is not lost. They still plan to have positive spirits and plan for next year. They say this Thursday there will be a fundraiser where they'll sell some of the food that they would have sold right here. In Southampton County, Kiana Patterson, mm -hmm. turn on your sign.